Okay, so uh, second movie, we have just installed or created a GitHub tutorial and we can always see if it's, uh, we can get the version that's online via Gitpull. So if everything is changed online, then you can download it now. Or if you just change something, um, you do just this one, this command, you put in change some comments you like to remember it by and then everything is uploaded again so that's what we did we made a github tutorial online on github we used it i think we set it up under five minutes or so so what's next only for those guys who want to know what's inside i just go over what these scripts are all about so what we did is we went to GitHub, made a tutorial and cloned an empty one and put these files in there. We first ran this one, set up git. And there are a lot of things. So this is the standard code you get from GitHub, which is going to make uh, type this text into the file readme.md, initialize then git add the readme to the, li the list to put online name it somehow commit first commit and then going to tell them where should you put it you should add it and where should we add it? we should add the origin blah 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 this is the url and then in the end it says just git push upstream origin master so origin master um so more some other information if somehow you are in trouble you could check out atlassian and there are other elements you can try if you are in need of assistance so atlassian is a good website to get you started this code is just asking of looking for is there a git available on the system if it's not available we shall install it and i do think you have a debian and not an arch for instance then I have put for every code, I've put a link so you can read on there. So we have an initializing git. If you did it my way, that's not actually necessary because, because git in it will make a folder that's hidden, dot .git or git. And um, so that's really not necessary, but I leave it there because someti sometimes I make it other way. Um, and then the configuration what is your username what is your user email i want to edit with nano not vi or vim and i want to not always uh, type in my password but he should remember it for 60 minutes and then he can ask for the password again and then default push is an option he asks you to choose between simple and something else so that's okay in the end you say everything is done so that's what's inside setup git. This is just once you run it on a whole system. So if you make new gits and, and, and other elements, everything is now set up in your home folder. And these, uh, com this configuration is somewhere there. All right, though, next up is then the git. So if you change something and you wanna put it online, you push it online, that's the word. Then you say here, actually, git everything that's in the folder and then you have to write some comments that's a decent thing to do so read input and then figure out what time it is and i'm putting both inside the comment so comment will be your input first commit and the time that you committed it push the local files to github will be done with this command code and then well, you can add echo all done or something like that, but that's that's it. So it's not so technical. Once you have the, these two files, once for the setup and for the rest, you do. You run this one. Ciao.